hi babies welcome back to my channel is your girl Maida right here in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how I did this makeup look that I have on right now basically I did this makeup a few weeks ago when I went out with my friend to an engagement party and everybody just loved the makeup look and everybody keeps asking me to do a video about it so here's the video hope you guys enjoy it I don't have much to say if you have any type of questions about makeup or any type of stuff or you have a certain type of look that you would like to see me doing you can always contact me through Instagram I'll gladly respond to you as soon as I as I get the chance to do it I don't have anything else to say let's jump right into the tutorial so see you on my next video and um, bisous <laughs> guys I already did my eyebrows off camera per usual most of the time you guys know I do my eyebrows off camera and for my brows today I use the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro um, you guys know I love this product you can tell that I use it a lot not only on myself but in my clients too and to clean up my brows I use the LA Girl Pro concealer in the shade toffee so the first thing i'm gonna do is apply primer of course um the one that i'm using is from smashbox for foundation i'm gonna use nars all day luminous well like weightless foundation you guys know this is one of my favorites and i'm gonna use the shade new guinea and to blend it out, I'm gonna use a beauty blender. Okay, now that my foundation is on and blended, I'm gonna go ahead with the Elegant Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. For contour, I'm gonna use this J Manual um, stick, and I'm gonna use the uh, concealers, the the dark side of the stick. And since it's pretty dark, I'm just gonna put it on the cheekbones. And for my forehead, even though I don't need to contour my forehead that much, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of this um, ColourPop concealer. To set my highlight, I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. I'm gonna take my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna use the shade Raw Sienna first as a transition color and then I'm gonna pop a little bit of Real Guard on my crease and I'm gonna end up with Cypress Umber all over my eyelid and I'm gonna blend it out. Then I'm gonna take a black eye pencil and I'm gonna line my, my top and bottom waterline and I'm gonna smoke out my bottom lash line with the same Cypress Amber eyeshadow. So to take away all this excess translucent powder that I have on my face and that makes me look so white, I'm gonna use my True Complexion Palette Okay, now that I'm done taking away the excess powder, I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray palette to contour my face and per usual, I'm just gonna mix these two shades right here. I cannot help it but it looks snatched all the time, so I have to do a little reverse contour again after putting the powder but 
Blending is always the key for everything, for success in this life. So I'm gonna go ahead and put mascara and lashes off camera because you know, at the end of the day, uh, most people know how to do it. And for those had, that don't know how to do it, I have a video coming up. To finish up with the look, I'm gonna use this Kylie Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in the shade Fiji. Then I'm gonna take this J Manuel Beauty blush in the shade Bella. And then for my lips, I'm gonna mix Kimberly from KK Beauty and Creme Brulee from NYX Cosmetics. And I'm also going to put a little bit of a brown lip liner.